Hi friends, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're happy and healthy. My name is Tammy, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate you choosing to spend a little time with me on this little journey of self-care. So I wanted to do a tarot tag that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. And if you are new here, I have a lot of decks. So it's really hard for me to do some tags. Like I have to figure out a way that I could do like the major arcana favorite da um, tag where you go through all your cards and find your favorite fool, find your favorite empress. I have to, so many decks. That's a real, that will take me several days to go through all the cards and try to do that. So I have to come up with a better plan for that one. In the meantime, another tag that I've been wanting to do is the seven deadly sins. And again, I have a lot of decks. So I thought I would do this one with my tarot decks, and then I'll do it again with my oracles. I hope that sounds good to you. And if it does, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So when I post a new video, it will be in your notification list. Also, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like, thumbs up. And if not, you know, hit the thumbs down. It, Either way, it helps, right? So, all right. So with the seven deadly sins, this was um, a tarot tag by Sylvain, Sylvain's Deadly Sins. I will put the initial video in my description. Um, they came up with this tag in December of 2021. So I'm, I'm a little late to the, you know, it's it's been a while. That being said, I still think that it is a fun tag, and this will be my 2023 edition. Who knows, maybe in the future I will do it again because my tarot collection and oracle collection are always changing. New decks are coming in. I'm going to be, I, I want to do a really good declutter at the end of this year. I don't know if I will or not. I don't, I don't know. I just, it's really hard for me to say goodbye to decks, even if I'm not like using them because I love them so but and they're like little mini you know art galleries but I have to be realistic and if I'm not using them I want to make sure that they go to a home where they will be used and loved and appreciated um so with that being said let's get started so the first one is pride this is a deck um you purchased or you use for flex or just a deck you're really, really proud of that, that you have it in your collection. Um, this deck for me, to some people may be considered a flex. I'm just really proud that I managed to get my hands on one because there was a lot of controversy about this deck. It was initially on Kickstarter and um, it took well over two years to create and people weren't happy and I don't know all the drama because I did not um, get it on Kickstarter. I happened to get it when it went into the Etsy store relatively early because some people had dropped out of the Kickstarter. So I managed to get my hands on um, this deck. This is the Earth Bone, no, Bone Stone and Earth flesh deck. Goodness gracious. Great. I can't even say gracious. Gracious. What is a gracious? Goodness gracious. All right. Let me try this again. It is the Bone Stone and Earth Flesh Tarot by Avalon. And the artwork is by Anna Tor Torian. I think that's how you say her last name. Um, so this is the back. And it does have this really pretty red, you know, gilding on the side here. I did not do that. It came this way. I know a lot of people, once they got their decks, they were really upset that, you know, there were all these like nicks and stuff. I look at it as, you know, I use it. It's going to get more nicks. So there you go. Um, but I imagine if you'd been waiting for two years, I could see why some people might be a little upset. I did not wait for two years, so 
I'm just happy that I have it. Anyways, the artwork is fantastic. It's amazing. And the book is really good. Let's see if I can get everything to, there we go. Look at this. Today we're, we're, we're cooperating. So here's the three of cups. Here is the king of cups, Neptune. I think that's Neptune, right? Because that's not a thunderbolt, that's a trident. So Neptune. The Knight of Cups. And I do like that this is a mermaid, merman, merperson. <laughs> the Two of Swords. I'm on a focus. There we go. And then I get it right back out. So I really, really love this deck. Let's see here. This is one of my favorite cards, the Empress. how she's just part of that tree and there's all that bounty at her feet. And then let's see here. This is a really pretty six of pentacles. Here's the chariot. So it is just a very beautiful deck, and I don't know if um, they are going to, you know, make it again. I know at one time Avalon was saying no, that they were not going to make a second edition or second copy of it. So I'm just really glad that if they are not doing so, that I managed to get my hands on this one because it is just gorgeous. So I'm very proud of it. All right, the next is... Greed, a deck you don't share with anyone or you only use for yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't really have a deck that I only use for myself, but I do have a deck that I only use, okay, that I only use um, for myself and my daughter. So we're the only two touching this deck. We're the only two using this deck. Um we're only reading for the two of us with this deck, not reading for any friends or other family members with this deck. Sorry about that. Okay, we're back. I have a teen, and even though the office door is closed, they just come barging in. Anyways, so as I was saying, um, this deck just has a strong hold on my heart. Um, it reminds me of my bestie who passed when I want to feel close with her, I use this deck, which is really fun because we didn't have this deck together or anything. Um, it has to do with the fact that when I went to get my tattoo, um, she was with me and she whispered in the tattoo artist's ear and they added something on my tattoo. So she is literally on my body. So um, this is the eight coin tattoo. So between the tattoo connection and the um, artwork, it just makes me feel close to her. So um, I, this is the deck. I have, this is the back. So if you wanted to read reversals, you could. I have edged this in like a um, dark, dark, teal, like a teal gray. I guess you could say it's like a smoky blue, gray blue. Anyways, um, I trimmed it. So here's the six of cups. Five of wands. Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords, 
the fool. Five of cups. Is it gonna, there we go. The knight of cups. The Knight of Wands. So it just makes me feel closer to her. And so it is just a very special deck to me. Um, and so the only people allowed to touch or use this deck for reading is myself and my child. Did I leave the, okay, I left the box. All right, the next deck in the Seven Sins is the deck let me clear that out so I can see. A deck that you are angry with. So, wrath. And there's two decks I could choose from. So I had to think, which one am I angrier at? One I'm not angry at. I really love it. I just don't know its place in my collection. And that is the ASL tarot. And that is only because the cardstock. The cardstock. But I can overlook that <laughs> over this one. This one I am mad at because I would love this deck. I love the artwork, but the font messes it up. The not always balanced, you know, with the borders messed it up. And that is the Twilight of the Gods, the Del Delphic Maxim. I want to love this deck. It's just hard for me to love this deck. It makes me so mad. So this is the back. So as you can tell, like I can't, I've considered like cutting it, but then it has this pretty rainbow edging. And if I cut it, it wouldn't be necessarily even anyways because some of the cards are off-centered. So here's... Midas. And this is um, both a tarot and an oracle. So here is the three of cups. See, like, that is beautiful. But now look at that font down at the bottom. Let me get it to, you know, again. Versus. Come on. I'm like, are they? Okay. Look at that font versus this font. One is super tiny and a totally different kind of font. Come on. Okay. It's lighting. It pulls a trick on me. Anyways, the font here is different and a different size than the font in this one. They're different fonts different sizes frustrates me and then you can't say oh well you know it's the three of cups and it's tarot versus oracle because here's the four of cups same suit both tarot and this one there we go this one has larger font than this one you see that so that drives me crazy. I know it's it's really not that big a deal. Like, but the perfectionist in me has a trouble with it. But like, look how beautiful these cards are. I want to love it. I want to love it so badly. And it just doesn't want to. It just isn't gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing. Here's Princess of Pentacles. I mean, so that's that. And then here, here is again, the bigger font, but it is a different color font. It's a brown font instead of a black. All the others are black. Like Cups isn't in blue. Like all the wands are in this brown. But yet some of the major arcana are in brown, some are in black. 
And the easiest thing to be would be like, just trim it, trim the words off. But to be fair, if I trim the words off, since this is also an oracle, it would be really hard to know what's what. And um, some of these are not centered. Look at that, that's so gorgeous, the waistline. So this deck just gets me so angry because it had so much potential and I know they did a second running of this and I'm sure they fixed all that in the second running. But I paid so much for this deck, like I can't bring myself to buy another deck because, you know, it wasn't looked over to make sure that everything was the way it was supposed to be. So I have, um, it just, it, it frustrates me. And so that is my wrap. Can, can you tell it makes me angry? <laughs> All right, the next one is a deck you wanted other, um, you wanted because other people have it, envy. All right, so for me, Let me make sure I have the right ones. Okay, yeah. It was This Might Hurt Tarot. Everyone was talking about it. I had to get my hands on it. I'm so glad that I got my hands on it. Um, because it has a very modern vibe. Um, I feel like there's a lot more inclusion in this deck. I love the artwork of this deck. This is the little white book. This is the back. So again, you can do reversals if reversals are your thing. It has, mine has this nice hol um, holographic like rainbow edging. So here is the five of wands. The Hermit. I love this card. Two of Pentacles. I love this card too. And I love how she has a different colored hair. You know, it's not. <laughs> Here's the sun. There's still the, the nearly naked baby, but instead of on a horse, it's on a dog, which, you know, is very modern. <laughs> Here is the Fool. Let's see. Here is the Two of Cups. So it's very inclusive. Well, I feel like it's pretty inclusive. Let's see here. Oh, I love the Six of Swords. This moving away from something and then the snake is like following in the water. Love that card. Um... I love this Queen of Wands. It's just such a, a good deck. So modern. Love the artwork. I am so glad that I went with my gut and let Envy rule me in that moment and that I picked it up. All right, the next is Lust. So this is a deck that you like for aesthetic reasons. I have a lot of decks that I like for aesthetic reasons, but this is a deck that I had to have the minute I saw it because of aesthetic reasons, but also because it made me feel like I was closer to home. And that is the Healing Waves Tarot. This deck is so special and so beautiful, and um, when they were actually doing the painting for the cards, they actually used ocean water. It just, it just makes me feel closer to home, because I grew up, you know, in the redwoods, next to the ocean, small little town, loved it. The high, well, I didn't love the town when I was growing up there, because <laughs> it's a small town, but now I appreciate it. <laughs> The Hierophant. 
seven of earth. I mean, look at the turtle with those eggs. Four of water. Two of fire. So the two of wands. Wheel of Fortune, Two of Earth with the dolphin playing with the bubbles. I love that balance card. The Lovers. It's just such a beautiful card. It's, it's a beautiful deck and just beautiful cards. And this is the edging. It came that way. It's gilded with this like light blue. And then here, I mean, if you didn't memorize the pattern, I guess you could do reversals if you wanted. But that just reminds me of the tide pools back home. All right. The next one is Gluttony, Gluttony, a deck that you really didn't need, but you purchased anyways. That would be the Witch's Tarot. Um, I purchased this around the same time that I purchased This Might Hurt, I believe. And because This Might Hurt is very modern, and I have several modern decks, um, I really didn't need this one. But I purchased them around the same time. This one does not get enough love from me. I'll tell you why. Um, so first, here is the whoops, the little blue book. Nice, sturdy little book. These are the backs. I have not edged it. I have not done anything to it. And I probably never will just because it does have the border in white on the back too. I could always cut them, but... So these are glossy cards. And because they're glossy, they just go all over the place for me. Like, they're very slippery to me. And there's a lot of them, and I have small little hands. So that's, you know, two of the reasons why... that Those are the reasons why this deck just doesn't get enough love from me. Um, and probably because I do tend to favor this might hurt more. This is also very beautiful, very inclusive, very modern. Um, but I think I just prefer the artwork in this might hurt. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is beautiful, but um, I think... I just have a preference for the artwork on This Might Hurt and the fact that it's not glossy and easier for me to shuffle also kind of gives This Might Hurt a leg up. So I really need to, I mean, I really do need to try to use this deck to see if I can get over those things and if not then I need to go ahead and rehome it and find, you know, someone who will give it the love that it deserves. Because, I mean, it's really, really beautiful. There is one card that, this is not the card. There is one card that is similar-ish between this might hurt and this deck. And that is the chariot card. Let me see if I can find both of them so I can kind of show you. Um, and I'm Ben is going to be the last one. I do like this. <laughs> Everything is fine. She's still texting. Everything's fine. <laughs> All right. So I found the chariot in this deck. Let me find a chariot on this might hurt so I can show you, um, the two cards next to each other. They have a very similar-ish, um, theme. And they just remind me of 
you know, each other. So let's see here. I should have probably pulled these out beforehand, but I didn't think of it at the time. So yeah, I like the feel of these cards better. Come on, Chariot. I'm sorry. Okay, well, maybe I'm not going to be able to find it here. But they both have, for the Chariot, they both have like a motorcycle. And so when I see one, I mean, this has a lot of motorcycles because like this is this might hurt. There's another motorcycle there. So the Knights have motorcycles, um, but the Chariot, I don't know why they just seem so similar to me. See, here's another Knight and he's on a motor and they're on the motorcycle. So this one has a lot of motorcycles, but oh. I guess they're not as similar as I thought. They just always remind me of each other, of, of, you know. So here is, this might hurt. She's standing on the two motorcycles. And here is the chariot. All right, so they're not as close as I thought, but the background is the same. They both have the city in the back. And they both have the theme with the motorcycles. But in one, they're standing on the two, in the other, they have the like, I don't know if you'd call those Sphinx at the wheels, but yeah. So the Modern Witch Tarot is my glutton, a deck that I didn't need, but I purchased anyways. And I don't know if it's going to stay in my collection, if I can give it, you know, the attention that it deserves because it is a gorgeous deck or if I am going to be passing it along. I just try to stick the book in that one. All right, let me put the book in here. All right, we are down to the last deck, the last tarot deck for the Seven Sins. And this is Sloth. This is a deck you use when you just feel lazy, when I don't want to do a whole lot, and I just want to sling some cards and see what it says and not try to really do anything to figure it out because it just, you know, I can relate to the deck so easily that, and that would be the pagan, the pagan cats tarot. This has been a longtime favorite of mine. I had the first one and I edged it in purple and I had it for a long time, but I really didn't like the borders. Um, so I actually, sent that to my niece, I believe, and I had purchased myself the borderless copy. So here's the fool. Come on. I love this one. The hanged man. I mean, I can relate to that. Three of pentacles. The cat's working together to try to get that mouse out of there. The Empress. Come on, focus. There we go. The Tower. The Moon. Seven of Cups. And the Sun. All right, so those are my seven Deadly Sin tarot decks. I'd like to thank um, Sylvain's, yeah, Sylvain's Deadly Sins for creating this tag. That was a lot of fun to kind of like look over all my decks to figure out which fit what. And um, I plan to do it again. And 
do it for my um, oracles. All right, thank you. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, a thumbs down if you didn't. And um, hope you subscribe. And until next time, stay blessed and stay beautiful. Bye. Oh, was I out of focus the entire time? Yeah, I am. Hello. Am I in focus yet? No. No. I am just out of focus. Hmm. Come on, camera. I feel like my life is out of focus. Anyone else feel like that sometimes? Anyway, oh, look, I'm kind of more focused, sort of, maybe. I don't know. Either way, I might just be a blurry mess. And until next time, stay blessed and stay beautiful. Bye. <laughs>